Three on Quebec, runway three, cleared to land, wind 080 at nine or low level, wind shirt advisory is in effect. Three on Quebec, Brazier, cleared to land, runway three. Each airport in the National Airspace System has unique and distinct characteristics. This can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of these tricky areas from the flight deck. Flagstaff Pulliam is a small mixed-use airport located just south of the city of Flagstaff, Arizona. Its high field elevation means that density altitude can exceed 10,000 feet. Weather, winds, and wind shear add additional challenges. During the winter, cold weather operations and snow removal activities are prevalent. Thorough pre-flight planning and checking NOTAMs during your flight are a must to avoid any surprises during arrival and departure at Flagstaff. Flagstaff has a single runway, runway 3 and 2-1, with a full-length parallel taxiway. All airport facilities are on the north side of the runway. The traffic mix consists of everything from basic flight instruction aircraft all the way through air carrier jets. There is also a robust medevac operation, utilizing both fixed and rotor wing aircraft that operate from the airport. This diverse mix of pilot experience and aircraft types makes Flagstaff an interesting place to fly. First-time visitors need to be aware that the tower does not have radar surveillance capability. This fact requires that pilots make accurate and precise airborne position reports when communicating with air traffic control. The tower's operating hours vary according to the time of year. Check the chart supplement during pre-flight for the latest information. Pilots also need to remember to use CTAF both in and outbound during non-towered operations. Since the airport's single taxiway is not wide enough for two-way traffic, the tower may instruct aircraft landing runway 21 to continue down the runway and exit at a specific taxiway. This is done to keep arrivals clear of aircraft taxiing for departure on runway 21. The large ramp area provides parking for both air carrier aircraft at the terminal and itinerant aircraft at the FBO. The terminal ramp is a secured identification area and only commercial air carriers are authorized on this ramp. It is a federal TSA violation for general aviation aircraft to taxi into this area. There is also access to the hangars for locally based aircraft. Most of this area is non-movement area and does not require ATC clearance. The boundary between non-movement and movement areas is indicated with yellow, single solid, single dashed pavement markings. Remember, during tower operating hours, you must have the appropriate clearance to cross these lines. As mentioned earlier, when the tower is not in operation, it is important that pilots announce themselves on the common traffic advisory frequency during landings, taxi, and takeoffs. Extra caution is advised in the vicinity of the terminal. When de-icing operations are being conducted for the air carriers, aircraft are pushed back from the terminal gate and into the large concrete area just west of the terminal and east of the FBO. Because this is a non-movement area, this can be done without making any radio calls or receiving any clearance from ATC. Your awareness of these operations will help you avoid taxi conflicts in this non-movement area. When getting ready to depart Flagstaff, note there is no designated run-up area for runway 3. However, there are several areas where run-ups can be conducted. Just ask the tower and they can help. Runway 21 does have a dedicated run-up area. This area is located on taxiway Alpha between Alpha 3 and Alpha 2. Pilots may also notice ILS critical area hold lines on both taxiway Alpha and along the edge of the run-up area. These are used in certain weather conditions to protect the ILS signal for landing traffic. Tower will advise when to hold short of these lines. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at Flagstaff will help pilots make better decisions and, along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. 
We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Flagstaff Pulliam Airport. It's always better to know before you go.